I am Dr. M. Wilson speaking. Welcome to this session of accounting for bank companies. Before that, I request you to subscribe this channel. Now let us see the accounts for banking companies. Banking companies have to prepare the final accounts. The final accounts of the banking companies are divided into form A and form B. Form B, A is balance sheet and form B is profit and loss account. Form A, balance sheet is divided into 11 schedules. First five are for the capital and liabilities and the next six or for the profit and loss account. In the current uh, capital and liabilities, the among the first schedules, let us see, first one is capital, second one is reserves and surplus, third one is deposits, fourth one is borrowings, fifth one is other liabilities and provisions. In this, deposits means the deposits accepted by the banking companies. Borrowings means it's borrowing from other financial institutions as well as from Reserve Bank of India. Now let us see the assets. That is the starting from the 6th schedule uh, to the 11th schedule. Sixth one is cash and balance with Reserve Bank of India. Seventh one is balance with banks, money at call and short notice. Eighth schedule is investments. Ninth schedule is advances. Tenth schedule is fixed assets. Eleventh one is other assets. So see in the sixth one, cash and balance with Reserve Bank of India. Cash with the banks and some cash may be kept with the Reserve Bank of India. That may be mandatory. Then the seventh schedule, balance with banks. Banks means some other banks. Money at call and short notice. That is some amount might have been invested in a short period of time. Money at call uh, means any time when the bank requests uh, means uh, that uh, borrowing banks should return the money. And short notice means within few days, maybe one week or within 10 days. That is a limit. Investments are related to the bank's uh, investment in some other concerns, maybe in the shares of some other companies. The ninth one is the advances. That is the lending of the banks. The banks may have lent a short term loan, long term loans, medium term loans. That all come under the advances. Then the ninth schedule is dealing with fixed assets. That is land and building, plant and machinery, furniture and fittings, equipment, etc. And the eleventh one is other assets. Any other assets that uh, have not covered in 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th schedules uh, and 10th schedule should be kept in the other assets. Then the total of the that other, uh, I mean, the capital and liabilities should be added and the total of the assets should be added. The, this amount should be equal. Then the 12th schedule return on the liability side that is contingent liability now let us see the form b that is profit and loss account this profit and loss account is divided into four categories one is income second one is expenditure and third one is profit and loss account that uh, is current year and uh, 
previous years. Then fourth one is related to appropriation. That is profit and loss appropriation. In the, I mean income. First one is income. Income is in the third income contains two schedules, 13 and 14. 13 is related to interest rent and 14 is related to other income. Interest is interest rent. Interest rent uh, is through the lending of the bank. The banks might have lended short term loans, medium term loans and long term loans. All this interest for one year should be added and taken as for the schedule 13. Other income are related to the uh, interest received from investment, uh, the dividend received from the investment, etc. Then second uh, division is expenditure. Then expenditure uh, has two schedules, schedule 15 and 16. That is interest expended. 15 is interest expended. 16 is operating expenses. Then provision and contingencies. Uh, 15 the schedule is interest expended means uh, for the deposits uh, of uh, that fixed deposit, uh, current account, savings account, interest should be given. Then system, operating expenses means that day-to-day uh, -day activities expenses might have spent on monthly basis, weekly basis as well as daily basis. Then that example is salary, then rent paid, etc. Then after that provisions for contingencies should be done. Then uh, the total of that income and uh, expenditure should be I mean, done separately and uh, thereby it shows a difference. The difference should be taken to the third category, the heading profit and loss account. And uh, the balance should be taken first net profit for the year. And the profit and loss brought forward for the previous year should be written. And the total of that should be taken and this total to be transferred to the taken for the appropriation code. And uh, in uh, uh, fourth one is appropriation account. This account contains the details related to uh, transfer to statutory reserve, transfer to other reserves, transfer to government uh, as well as proposed dividend. Then the balance between the total of the third category and the appropriate and should, um, should be taken here and the balance should be taken and calculated and it should be transferred to the balance sheet. Okay, thank you.